What's up guys, this is Sound of Jordan here and we are back once again with some more Transformers Bumblebee news to discuss and you know we've been on a roll for the past week there's been lots of news regarding the trailer, some analysis and of course we have something else to talk about today and that is as you guys can clearly see the title of this reboot, I said reboot but the title of this video that's right guys Transformers Bumblebee actually might have been confirmed as a reboot now I know what you guys are thinking, how is it confirmed, give us the details, well of course I'm going to be doing that right now and we're pretty much going to be talking about it and I'm going to give you guys my thoughts regarding this whole entire situation. So enough of me talking, let's actually get on with it, let's make this video quick. There was an interview and a discussion with the CEO of Hasbro named Brian Goldner and he was pretty much talking about everything ranging from variety of toys to movies and of course when he got to the movies portion of this interview he talked about Bumblebee the movie and I have the highlight of the paragraph right here. Actually I have the paragraph highlighted. Wow my English is backwards. Here's what it states. Speaking of Frozen the sequel is slated for November 2019. Between now and the end of 2019, there will be a Spider-Man, X-Men, Star Wars, and Lion King movies, all linked to Hasbro toys. The most important film for Hasbro might be Bumblebee, opening just before this Christmas. That's a reboot of the blockbuster Transformers franchise with key differences. The five Transformers movies released since 2007 gave Paramount Pictures creative control and featured big stars, bloated budgets, and rising violence. The movies did plenty in revenue but with a slim cut for Hasbro. In a new deal with Paramount, Hasbro would take more creative control and put up more capital for a larger cut of profits. The movie is family friendly take on Transformers made with a slimmer budget. So as you guys can clearly see right here, Brian Goldner, the CEO of Hasbro states that Transformers Bumblebee right here is actually a reboot of the Transformers blockbuster franchise and the key difference between the previous franchise and the current Bumblebee movie is the fact that Paramount have creative control over the previous five installments. They pretty much were in charge of everything, the whole the whole creative process and were in charge of budgeting, um, having the big actors and that's pretty much why we had so much product placements within the previous Transformers films and at the time and sometimes it felt like these weren't really Transformers movies according to some of the other Transformers fans. I still enjoyed them but you know the vast majority of people did not enjoy the series. Now with Bumblebee the movie on the other hand this time Hasbro has creative control meaning that they're in charge of everything. It's like similar to what Spider-Man and Sony did with Marvel. If you guys didn't know Sony technically still owns the Spider-Man license but with Spider-Man Homecoming and Spider-Man appearing in Civil War Marvel had creative control of the character and the film while Sony was just making profit and that's exactly what's happening right here with Transformers Bumblebee. Hasbro is actually having creative control which is very important you need to have that creative control especially for the company that actually made the series become the life to begin with so the fact that Hasbro is having creative control of the series shows and it also just tells us that this is one of the reasons why Paramount not Paramount but why the previous Transformers movies weren't doing too hot and they had some questionable things inside the film so I'm pretty happy about that. If that doesn't tell you that Transformers Bobby isn't a reboot, I don't know what to tell you. The CEO of Hasbro stated it himself that Transformers is a reboot. Bumblebee the movie is a reboot for this whole entire series. And in my opinion, they should just continue along with this route. This movie has a lot more positive feedback and a lot more people are actually looking forward to this movie instead of the other franchise. And this just shows you that despite everything that happened within the previous franchise, people still want the core fundamentals of what makes Transformers Transformers. That G1 family friendly live action action packed series. So there you guys have it right here. The CEO confirmed that it was a reboot. Of course Hasbro and Paramount and everyone else hasn't really made an official statement but if the CEO says that this is a reboot I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with his word so yeah anyways what you guys think about this leave your thoughts in the comment section below I just want to give you guys this quick video and give you guys my thoughts regarding everything of this quote unquote reboot of a franchise I'm hoping they continue along this route this is pretty much our live action G1 series and I'm hoping they continue along with it along with Mr. Travis Knight because it's clear that he has a unique direction of where Transformers should be going and I absolutely love it so yeah anyways like I said be sure to leave your thoughts down below I will leave this article link inside the description if you guys want to read the rest of it as well as be sure to follow me on Twitter if you guys would like to it is deeply appreciated I'm pretty active on that 
that being said thank you guys for watching nonetheless this is Simon Jordan here peace late and I'll see you guys in the next Transformers video I'm out to have a lovely awesome splendid day